Today we are installing a pier foundation for a shed. We begin with marking out the four corners and calculating the grade of the slope. This pilot hole will act as a guide for the machine operator. The foundation holes are drilled with a front mounted auger and are 42 inches deep for frost protection. Once the hole is clear of rocks, the depth is verified. A patio block is placed at the bottom of the hole and tamped down to provide a firm and level place for the pier to rest. A laser transit is used to determine the height of each pier based on the grade of the slope. Six by six marine grade timbers are used as the piers. Each one is measured, cut to length, and placed into the hole. It is important that extra care is taken in this step to make sure that the pier does not lean in any direction. Each pier is then backfilled and carefully tamped down. Six by six beams are then measured and cut to the proper length and secured horizontally to the piers using screws and perforated hanger straps. The completed foundation is now ready for delivery of the new storage building. Cloder Farms employs a team of professional drivers who are highly skilled in operating our very customized equipment. As you can see, a second set of wheels is hydraulically lowered. This custom feature allows the trailer to be side shifted by remote control. With the building aligned to the foundation, the driver now prepares to unload the building. Using solid oak planks and PVC pipe, the building is lowered onto the foundation. In addition to the second set of wheels, the driver is able to remotely maneuver the trailer's hydraulic tongue extension and rear tail shift. The building is rotated into position with the tail of the trailer. The driver also uses a pry bar to move the building for the final placement. The installation you have watched here accounts for only 2% of our deliveries. Another reason would be to install a gazebo at a very specific height in order to tie into a pre-existing deck. In approximately 98% of all cases, a crushed stone pad is a perfect base for a building or gazebo. 
Learn more about site preparation at cloderfarms.com. My name is Jim Kent. I've been here at Cloder Farms for 18 years. This is what I do every day.